Next to our garden was Bilson Mission Church, which sadly has closed. This was a lovely little church and has happy memories for me. Built of corrugated tin and locally known as the Tin Church, it was beautifully tended by two devoted ladies, a mother and daughter, Mrs Martin and Mrs Cinderby. Every Thursday was cleaning day and refilling the coal scuttles with coke. It was in the war years and there was no coal to spare and this was one of their jobs. The pine-lined church gleamed and it was so cosy with the old stove with his pipe going up through the roof. The little bell tower replaced since housed the bell which was connected by a rope inside the church, being rung half an hour before services were due. Many years later, when I had returned with my own family to live at number 10, on Sunday afternoons, our dog Corrie would sit on the top step in the garden and howl. I don't think she liked the toll. Even to this day, I can still vividly recall the image of Mr Lee's ringing the bell and suddenly being showered with sticks and straw. A crow had chosen to make its nest in the bell tower. Oh, what a noisy place to choose to build your home. I remember the rafters being raised by the Sunday school children, singing down in the valley, and shall we gather at the river? Good old Sankey hymns. We use Sankey and Golden Bell's hymn books, very much in the style of Salvation Army and gospel singing. Sunday school treats were held in Hollywood each summer, and we would all go down to the wood to have mugs of tea and buttered buns. In Hollywood, we had our treats. All Sunday school there would meet, have mugs of tea and buttered buns with ne'er a thought of war or guns, so happy in our green retreat. Fairies danced with tiny feet, their gossamer wings silver and neat, how they sparkled in the sun in Hollywood. In Hollywood we made a seat of fallen oaks and tattered sheet. This galleon was the greatest fun, Walk in the plank, no prize to be won. Pirates we on a magic fleet in Hollywood. <laughs>